Hi guys, it's me Toffee Dog and we're going to start again because for some reason the game's volume has gone down. I think sometimes when my computer mutes and I unmute it doesn't fully go back to unmuted. But anyway we're going to start off this walkthrough and we're also going to start the timer again because obviously you know we are now into the game and we actually start the official recording. Oana as the notification says has just laid an egg. And I have named the two African wild dog babies, and the you have a baby, uh, the, ah, uh, excuse me, I have named the you baby, Gino, I mean, okay, Gino is the one that's running around, so I'm hoping Gino doesn't go too far from his parents, because we do have some lions nearby, and even though they got a, hold on, oh, wait, she's going to give birth, okay, Alright, I'm so sorry about that music, I don't know why someone decided to play that loud. Oh my gosh, okay, sorry Rose, but you just have to hold on because we need to be with Rachel when she gives birth. So again, there seems, there's always a birth every episode because there's so many animals. Oh my gosh, okay. And there we are! Oh, Rachel has given birth to her baby! Oh my gosh! Okay, what gender is it? It is! I can't see! <laughs> I can't see what gender you are! I'm just going to... Hold on, let me go on to here. Okay, I'm just going to pause it. I know... You probably find it a bit annoying that I keep on pausing it. Okay, we've got a baby boy. Okay, we're going to check on Rose. Oh my gosh, Rose. Hold on. <coughs> okay, it was Ruby that was first born, not uh, Rose. I, pa I, I didn't panic, but I thought, Rose, our little baby, is that to have a kid? No, okay, that was her mum. Or oh, that was Ruby's mum. And I'm just going to delete this because as one the rules state, I don't like having man-made containers in my walkthroughs. don't like them at all. They disgust me. I'm joking. Right, let's go find this bird poop that the zookeepers can't reach. There's a zookeeper right there. I mean, some of these zookeepers aren't the greatest, to be fair. They're not exactly using their heads or... Usually I'd excuse it because these hills are quite steep, but there is a zookeeper right there. I'm not sure what zookeeper is right there, but there is one. Okay, we still got... Okay, Ruby is now pregnant. Oh my gosh. Okay, our baby is pregnant. Okay, his dad ran... Hold on. Oh, I panicked. I thought it was... Her dad had... Dad was her mate, that would have been disturbing. Oh my gosh, at least is now pregnant. Everyone's getting pregnant. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've got two pregnant giraffes, one pregnant ostrich and an egg. An ostrich egg. Just all in this part here. All that. And we're only three minutes into the walkthrough. My goodness. I'm just about keeping track of everyone here. There's so many animals. We've got lions with giraffes. My gosh. Right, where's Charlotte? Is there food around here? Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to set out some food for Charlotte. Right, let's set out some fish. Hold on. I hear ostrich. I hear one. Who is it? I swear I heard ostrich. Is anyone screaming at me? Because I can hear one. Fern is now pregnant. There's the ostrich. My oh my gosh! Flynn has found the mate! Oh! Oh gosh, Fern! Oh. Flynn is 
gonna be a dad. All the OPP boys gonna be a dad. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. Right, these rhinos. And the ostrich. This is the ostrich I heard. Which two are you? Who's the noisy? Hold on! Hold on! Alisa is the noisy ostrich. Really? Oh, Brock! Is he hungry then? Like it, Brock! Oh my gosh. Did I miss the notification? Right. Let's find Brian, because if Brock is injured, he might be too. Yes, oh. Let's set out some food for you guys. I don't want you guys to. Anya is now pregnant. Another elephant. My goodness, everyone's getting pregnant left, right and centre. And everyone's so close together as well. This place is overrun with animals. Oh, okay. Elisa is going to lay egg. Oh, everything's going to happen today. Everything's going on. Oh my gosh. So are you going to lay your egg somewhere safe? Is this... Yeah, this is Carl. Looks like he's following Elisa a little bit. Is he following Elisa? Yes, I know the biome isn't suitable for Brian. I know. Right, that's it. I'm changing it. There, you've got your own little patch of savanna. Are you happy? Are you happy now? I didn't really didn't want to have to do it, but... Happy? Standing there. No idea what's going through his head. Brock. Oh, Elisa's laid the egg. So these two are having a fight. It's funny, you're having a fight, but none of you are actually going going after the female. You're just fighting. My gosh. Right, let's check up on, I know I do this a lot, let's check on Charlotte, how Charlotte is doing and where she is. She's closer again, but she's not significantly close to our male cheetah. I think, I think the only way... Brian, use your head. Use your common sense. Brock, I swear. You're officially driving me nuts. I'm just gonna leave you. Just gonna leave you. What am I doing? Ah! Just gonna leave you. If you wanna act like that, fine, no problem. I'm really nervous when these cubs grow up. There's gonna be little males around, and as I might not be happy, I don't think he'll be very happy. About having more males, well not more, having additional males around. Ty and Tabitha are about to get run over by an elephant. 
Run over by an elephant. <laughs> and yeah, you nearly ran them over. Say sorry. Why well, aren't you saying sorry? Everyone's here. All different types of animals. Just everyone together. Which is a good thing, but there's so many of you guys. <gasps> Hold on. No, I don't think this is. I'm hoping it is. So. Oh no, that's our male. Darn it! I was hoping that was one of the female cheaters. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sound displeased to see you. <gasps> oh my gosh! I just noticed that. No! Hold on, hold on. No! Why do you have to die on me? Well, their kind is, um, I don't think we're going to, oh, she's pregnant as well, I think. Darn it. I'm sorry, you guys. There's not going to be any more of you. Oh, my goodness. We're going to start having deaths, aren't we? We're going to have a lot of deaths soon, as in natural deaths. Old age deaths. And I'm not looking forward to them at all. Oh boy, gosh. Okay. Don't just walk off, man. Who do we have here? <gasps> Ostrich line is just hatched. I don't care about the guests. We have another little baby. My goodness me. Oh, another baby we're going to have to name. Oh my. Well, at least out of this death we've had a birth and we've had Aslan. Looks like he's come out of his little area that he usually is in. Sorry for that momentary freezing. Hopefully that won't happen again. Let's see what he gets up to. Hold on, do we have a fight up here or did I just miss it? Oh, I think we have a fight. Well, not a proper fight actually. Oh, little baby. L little glitching baby as well. Cindy is really hungry. Um, okay, we're getting you food. Don't worry, I'm getting you food. We're getting you food, Cindy. Stay there. Stay. There's food right Oh gosh, Cindy, but you've come far. Hello. You? you have a choice between this and this. <gasps> oh! We have our two cheetahs here. Well, two of our three cheetah females, sorry. There's three of you. Cindy, there's food here. Good. Glad you're getting the point. And then we have Freya, one of our babies. Aww. Fine, it's going to give birth. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. No. Oh my gosh. Are we going to have some no rare puppies? That's okay. Oh, they are adorable. Okay, let's see who, what we've got. I'm so sorry for that noise in the background. As I said, you try and tell people that we're recording. <gasps> we've got two females and Travel is now pregnant. Hold on. <gasps> I'm sorry, your species is not doomed. I didn't mean to be, um... I'm just hoping that you're, you live long enough to actually give birth. I'm sorry, Travel. I'm so sorry. I, I feel bad now. You're making me feel bad. I forgot about you. I have an excuse though, there's about 60 something animals, no, okay, there's 40, no, there's 50 something animals, there's 60 here, so I have an excuse, and I'm going to delete that right now, yes, I deleted it, you're not allowed to have them, what did I say, rules, no, you can't stop them from, but every time I see one, or every time, 
But every time I see one, I might walk past one and not notice it. But trust me, every time I do see one, I will delete it because that is not a natural. <gasps> no! Okay, hold on, Ty. No offense, but Ty was a male. So we should hopefully. I'm pretty sure. I'm hoping trouble will get through the pregnancy. We've got one, two, three, four. We've got four pregnancies Rose, Ruby, and. Anya and Troubles. I'm hoping Troubles again gets through her pregnancy. She should because she is younger. Alright. What are you doing? You're crazy. Yes, you're crazy. I see you as a crazy cub. Wow, he's really not. Hold on. Lacey. Oh, who's Lacey? Is that the... Uh, Oh, Lacey the lion is just... <laughs> Linda, uh, I think you need to move. Lacey has grown up, which means Logan has grown up right there in front of us. Again, I have no idea how Aslan's going to react. Is he going to react in a good way, or is this going to be bad? Logan has grown up. This is the one bit I was slightly nervous about. Is the two male lions growing up and possibly there being big fights and possibly one of them getting killed. Hope you don't die. Alright, let's see. Is that Sam bothered? He might not have noticed. Seems to be okay. Seems to be just doing his normal thing. And I obviously, uh, Lacey could mate with the other two male cubs when they grow up, but obviously Logan will have to fight for his dominance if he wants any chance. Actually, no, he might be able. To, no, he won't be able to mate with any of them apart from the other main female, who's also Aslan's mate. So. I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't know if Aslan's going to be fine with it, whether we're going to have trouble or not. You know, this is the main worry, is I don't like animals dying, being attacked and killed. I'd rather them... Oh gosh, Linda's pregnant again. Wow, okay, Linda has... Her kids have just grown up and she's already gotten pregnant. Lacey, how do you feel about that? Tell me. Tell me. Your mum being pregnant again, you have to help out with the cubs. Whoever they may be or whatever. But Logan's not going to be as a part of the pride now. No, nope, he'll have to scurry off somewhere else. And live his life, because that's what happens with real lions. They, the males get cast out, otherwise they'll get killed or hurt. Because obviously the dominant male doesn't want them mating with any one or any of his lionesses but we'll have to see these two should grow up pretty soon but they're both males so they could have a rival in Logan this is what I mean it's, I don't know what's going to happen anything could happen especially since that a lot more animals are being born, it's a lot more crowded and they're going to run into each other more. So, this is, this is what, um, I don't know whether you want to call it good, bad, what, Abby, about having a lot of animals. You know, I don't know whether it's a good thing. Gino. Oh, look at him now. Oh, Gino. He's an adult. Okay, I'll <laughs> I'm saving a baby ostrich. Yeah, okay, you're safe. Less water now, but you're safe. Just, just don't try not to go in the water again and nearly drown if you could. That would be brilliant. Where are your parents? I see one adult ostrich over there. No idea where, and I can't see any others nearby. See one of the rhinos. 
Okay, this is what I was Okay, so his brother is close to growing up. I'm going to wait till he does because it won't, shouldn't be that long after Luca. Oh, we've got three male lions and soon be four. I don't know how Aslan's going to react or... Oh, hold on, no I won't pause actually. Why is he pausing? What are you doing, Logan? Also, ten has just hatched, so another baby has hatched. Which we'll need to name. There's so many animals here. So many. So many being born. We're going to head over towards the lions again. Hopefully we'll be able to catch. Oh no, I think... I think Luca has spotted our other male lion or Aslan. Hold on, I see Aslan's son. Looks like he's running. I'm hoping he's just running as in... Please don't. Oh no, it's okay. He's probably chasing his sister. Okay, this is this is how tense it's getting. Nothing bad is happening. But I guess oh no. Oh no. Don't you dare. Uh-uh. No. I've got food here. He's, as long as he's okay with his son staying. I'm not sure if he's always gonna be like that though, as I know you. Are you? Okay, Louis has just grown from young to adult, so we have four male lions in the same enclosure. Two brothers. And one of a male. So I have no idea if these two brothers are going to try and dominate together, if possible, or whether they're going to try and get the females individually. Right, so I'm going to end the part here. I hope you enjoy it. And the next part should be much interesting. We've had two natural deaths, unfortunately, but we've had a ridiculous amount of births. We've had the lions grow up. I don't know if that's going to create more drama, whether Aslan's going to be okay with it, whether he's just going to not care, or whether he's going to try and fight them. But you'll have to check that out. And that's it I want to make. The next episode will be uploaded Sunday because I'm going away for the weekend. I'm leaving Friday, so there won't be an all Friday upload. But when I get back Sunday, that's when I'll record and upload it. So I hope you guys are okay with that. I'm going away for the weekend. I'll try and record as much as possible. But there will be no videos Friday or Saturday at all. Not even the vlogs. So have to excuse me for that. But I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys Sunday for the next part.